Escape engineers, inspect the summary video. Here we are in Elizabeth. What we have here is uh, starting from the bottom here. This entire fire escape stairs needs to be rebolted because there's evidence of rust in all the connections. So not only does it need to be straightened out, but there's also a tread missing, which should be down there. Otherwise, there's a piece of tread missing down at the very bottom. Rebolt 100% of this staircase and straighten it out so that it's, it's straight so that this is the way out into the street. Um, in speaking with the uh, inspector, we're going to confirm whether or not a catwalk needs to be built here to tie in the the uh, exit back to this ladder, back to the staircase here, and that can be done in wood. Uh, minimum thickness in all the wood must be two uh, two inches or inch and a half nominal. Uh, on this one here, what we have is a fire escape married to a piece of uh, wood. This looks like it came in after the fact. The fire escape was in pretty bad condition. So this, as you can see, all the gussets are blown out. So remove uh, the rivets, pop in new bolts. This whole assembly can stay. This whole assembly can stay. Our only concern is that uh, they somebody lax screwed it back into the building. They must have done the vinyl and they lax screwed it. It either needs to be through bolted back into the building and it's a possibility upstairs or just like they did here, just put a lake to the ground and put another lake to the ground here and that boom you don't have to do with a through bolt anymore and the lax screws can stay so refurbish and rebolt these connections the rail connections are the same it's a 50 to 75 year old uh, metal structure uh, any connection that has rust in it must be cleaned can't leave behind any rivets or any square head bolts new bolts will avoid the load test the bars on the rails can stay as long as they're in good condition they don't have to be rebolted as long as they're in good text and condition scrape and paint give it a full paint job you have a wood structure here the only thing i didn't like is that they put the leg so most likely in order to keep this leg they can they can put in another piece of angle side to side and um they'll put the uh, they'll they'll stiffen up so with that, you got the legs coming down here to the ground. Everything is on a, on a, on a simple roof, so you got to make sure you don't penetrate the roof for any water damage. And going up here, so th this, this uh, staircase is probably 15 to 25 years old. You can still get another, another five years out of this. Uh, most likely you're going to have to sister this thing up. So a lot of this is just stiffening using the metal brackets that uh, Home Depot sells to really give it and stiffen it. But I think uh, giving it a... A stiffener plus a paint job, I think this thing will get you five. It may go to ten, but you, you're going to have to definitely uh, make sure that the wood structure will, uh, will hit the 100 pounds per square foot load. We've got the, uh, the clips underneath. Got to make sure that all the screws are in. And uh, because the water is absorbing into this, I would definitely throw a stain on this just to get it to get you a couple more years. And that's pretty much it. So rebuild. The metal, reinforce the wood, define whether or not it needs a catwalk system to tie you back in here, otherwise you don't know which way to run. And that will be decided with Steve. And then this whole metal piece here just needs to be refurbished and painted. And then that's an automatic uh, egress out the back side to a public way on the other street down there. Any questions, Firescape Engineers, inspect a summary video. Inspect the Manessas, 866-649-0333. I was going to ask you.